Everyone, a North Kingstown girl is not only making beautiful bouquets, but doing something beautiful with the funds from her efforts. Yeah, so after living through a few tough losses, it's the third year of bouquets by Riley. NBC 10 Sam Reed shows us something good. Tucked away back behind the farm stand at Tokwatton Farm in North Kingstown. Oh, this is my family's farm. Riley Madison is on a mission when it comes to maintaining her big, beautiful garden. It looks pretty and it like adds on to the farm. Well, it's not typical 10 year old duties. She does a, a lot of day to day farm things around here. With over 40 kinds and colors of flowers to choose from. Initially, this area was much smaller. We decided to plant more flowers because there would be more bouquets that we could make. While this is a result of her hard work that's been turned into her happy place, the idea to start Riley's bouquets originated from something sad. We started making bouquets three years ago uh, when my Mima got diagnosed with cancer. Riley's Mima, Debbie Madison, passed away a few years ago. It was her first real time learning about cancer and how it affected different families. And since her family's farm roots grow just about as deep as her garden, her passing was especially tough. Her grandmother was very giving and this would be something that she would have done. To help others during a rather tough time, three years ago, Riley began her blooming bouquet business in her Mima's memory. Seeing how other people can struggle made me feel like that it'd be better off to help them. So every year. First year I made 400. For the past three years. Last year I made 2,500. For an entire weekend, money from every beautiful bunch of flowers sold is donated to the Tomorrow Fund, honoring a person who has passed. The first year, the donation was made in honor of her Mima. The second year, a family friend, Sammy Hawks, who passed away at the age of five. This year, she's honoring her great-grandfather, Matt and Madison. Because I wanted to help others who had cancer. Like her garden, her annual effort has grown exponentially. A team of her lady loved ones gathered two weeks ago to make the event a sold out success. More than $3,500 will be donated this year. And just like the bouquets, the reasoning behind it is beautiful. It means a lot to us, um, not just supporting our stand, but supporting her and this idea that she's had. Showing you something good. I'm Sam Reed. What a great idea. I love the story of how it came to be. You yeah. know, sometimes you don't hear those kind of stories. In addition to the fact that the flowers are beautiful and she's adorable. Yeah, for a child <laughs> to think like that, I know. wise beyond her ears. It that is, is yeah, sure. yeah. And beautiful flowers, too. Mm -hmm. So, hey, if you want to show us something good, we love telling the stories. Upload the pictures and the videos, chime in, or turn to 10.com. Or don't forget about our app. Hi, everyone. It's Mark Searles from NBC10. Thanks for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.